Hey everyone, this is Carlo here, and I'm commenting on post-production because I did not record mic audio for this one. Here's just me playing around with the Quilcom B2 Shake and Scrape VST from Rex Bastard Field. Sounds a lot like sand, don't you think? A lot like sand, honestly. Okay, that's still kind of sandy. That's the rainstorm. No, rain, what about rainstorm? Let's see how that sounds. Once I go through there. I think it depends a lot on how low your sound is, so... If, if it's like at a very low sound, it's probably going to sound much sandier. And it tells you to hold down the notes after, so you're going to have to make it more gradual. This one we're getting into kind of sandy wind stuff, very, like very deep, deep wind. But what am I to say? Anyway, let's see what we got here. So that's what I have so far. You, you, this is, I think this is something you need more than one note for. So that's worth considering. So the sounds do get louder and more aggressive when you have the higher velocity, which definitely makes sense because, you know, that's just how things work. And that makes sense for physical modeling in this case, which is pretty much a lot of what Rex Basterfield's VSTs use. I've been using them more often and sampled when I can because the physically modeled technology makes um, things a little more, less predictable and seem a little more natural, even if they don't sound as realistic as I want them to. It's still better than sampled, at least in my opinion. This is something you kind of have to play a lot with as you're playing back. Now we're getting to more very ambient, ambient stuff. So that's, yeah, it's definitely, that definitely doesn't sound a lot like rain, but the point is to just play around and see what I can get. Even if you don't get rain sound, you can still get something really cool that can work for some kind of sound effects or even some music production. Like if you really want to put something ominous, well, I mean not ominous, but very ambient, uh, ambient. Look. I don't think this is something you can get the best for, uh, example of because I don't know. I, I don't think it's you can do this. Okay, honestly, that's not too bad. Definitely sounds more like applause with the presets I did. And by the way, guys, don't worry, um, the Reverb VST is free to use, so, as far as I know, but I'll put a link in the description anyway. Uh, 
And those are more bread-like ones. Definitely would make a good substitute over the usually sample de pitch down tambourine I see in a lot of covers. But yeah, you could get a physically model result, and you wouldn't have to sa you wouldn't have to artificially pitch down anything with the pitch effect or whatever you have to, or pitch down sample. You just have that. Get what I mean? Okay, just a lot of, just some velocity testing. Just like usual, it's ver it's velocity sensitive, especially if you make sure, if you make it that so, depending on the preset, especially. Or, or the setting. Okay, that almost scared me when I was commenting on this right now. Yeah, it definitely sounds cave-like. If only I'd use this in my Misty Menace thing, but I'm not gonna redo it just for that. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this off early, but I hope you guys um, were into, the, into this test thing I did. Well, let me know what you guys think if you download it for yourself. But other than that, I'll definitely see you guys later. And I do hope you guys have a happy new year. So, yeah.